Speaker, the Premier's decision to behave in this way instead of acting like a leader is the most revealing thing that he has done yet. By keeping his plot secret for the entire election campaign, he has shown that his word is, in fact, worthless. Speaker, through you, Leader of the Opposition, you won't ever have to worry about acting like a leader. Yeah. You will never have to worry about that. Can the Premier tell Ontarians where exactly in his plan for the people he said he would specifically cut Toronto City Council in half in the middle of our election? When I was down at City Council, I put it to a vote. I spoke a hundred times about reducing the size and cost of government. We know at least one court challenge has already been filed. Again, can the minister tell us how much Ontarians will be on the hook fighting court challenges caused by this dictator-like plot. Speaker, it's very regrettable some of the words that are being used in this legislation today. Very regrettable. Toronto will have the same number of councillors as Ottawa, a city with one-third of Toronto's population. So I ask you again, why is this Conservative government undermining the foundations of our community in order to settle I, I, apo I apologize. I apologize to the member I had to interrupt your question, but ask the government side. She's 10 feet away from me, and I can't hear her. Through you, Mr. Speaker, member of the opposition, did you see the 12 councillors stand up, the fiscally conservative councillors, representing close to 2 million people in the city of Toronto? They know what their, yeah. what their constituents want. They want smaller government. Here, here. They want transit built for the first time ever in Toronto. That's why we're going to be uploading the subway system. That's why we're finally going to build subways for the people of Scarborough, Mitzi. 